Cool. I'm uh, Jeremy Brown. I'm an artist based here in Atlanta. Yeah, so the, the show that opens up tomorrow night in Atlanta is uh, titled Reverence, um, which is defined as a deep respect or appreciation for someone or something. Um, and so with this, this show, I kind of chose to kind of pay tribute to my favorite artist. Um, one of the first artists that got me into abstract art, abstract expressionistic art, um, which was Basquiat. I mean, you know, unfortunately, I didn't find out about his artwork until after he had passed. Um, but I mean, I think I was 14 or 15 when I came across it. Um, it was actually introduced by my mom, who was an artist as well, and she had kind of, she was kind of, you know, showing me some artists that that she appreciated and, and uh, you know, anywhere from, from Mark Rothko to Pollock to, to Basquiat. Um, you know, and it, I was a big fan of Dali and, and stuff like that, but, you know, once I, I kind of saw what uh, Basquiat was doing and just kind of the rawness, the dirtiness, almost kind of like changed the way that I, I viewed art or, or what I defined as artwork. I mean, he basically, did whatever he wanted and created something that, you know, at the time people you know, didn't really consider it to be art. It wasn't a portrait of, you know, it wasn't the Mona Lisa. Um, but, you know, now, I mean, to this current day, he's the, uh, the highest sold American artist. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess I started at a young age you know, as a teenager, um, really kind of enjoying it. And, inspired by his work. I, you know, first and foremost, I create it for myself. I, yeah, because I, I just enjoy creating, uh, finding inspiration and bringing it to life. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the pieces, you know, I want, I want the viewer to kind of be able to just kind of dive into it, almost get lost in it. Um, you know, to sit there and, and look at the artwork and find different things, you know, that, that uh, you know, just kind of entertain them or spark any inspiration. Um, like Basquiat, you know, I incorporate the use of text, um, you know, kind of trying to uh, encourage some sort of message. And with this one, um, a lot of the messages are about unity and working together. Um, you know, being an artist and supporting other artists, not being afraid to work with, with other artists. Uh, even in the show, I have a collaboration piece with another local artist named Lee Arnett. Um, you know, and it's, you know, we're kind of working together, um, you know, versus against each other. And, you know, a lot of the, the messages that Basquiat shared um, in his time was about unity and equality and, um, yeah, just trying to create a better world, you know, trying to inspire some sort of positive message. Um, so yeah, I mean, I definitely want, I want the viewer to walk away not just entertained, but also inspired. Um, the one word I've used the most is kindness. And, uh, you know, the, the phrase I use is simple kindness, which is kind of based on just the idea of, you know, just be kind to one another. The importance and value of it, you know, whether it's being kind to myself or it's being kind to a complete stranger, it's just if everybody was just a little more kind, yeah, I feel like the world would be a better place. Um, you know, it's just that word, kind, like or kindness. It's just to me, it's a powerful word because it's just, yeah, it's it's a powerful action. Um, you know, if, if everyone could just be a little more kind, that we could really create some positive change in this world. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I think with my art, I just, you know, I want the viewer to, you know, feel the, the energy of the piece. And um, I mean, shit, if I can just inspire an ounce of, of positive inspiration in someone's life, then that's all I really ask for.